Hey guys, we're back at it, MomoCon, day two. I got my coffee. It's, uh, we got here pretty early. Got Ryan and Jeremy right over here. Hey. And uh, we're gonna go see what we can get into this day. So let's go. So Ryan brought up a good point with the, the title MomoCon. Uh, so you think it is more MoCon? Well, I'm thinking that like last last year we were like looking for there. It was a MoCon. Yeah. It was a con for Mo. Right. But now we need. They wanted Mo. more of them. We need Mo of MoCon. So Mo Mo, so Mo MoCon. MoCon. Yeah. So Mo MoCon Mo problems. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mo MoCon Mo problems. <laughs> We're in a double dub line, saturated waiting to go sound. down to the exhibit hall yeah. slash game. And then I realized what I've been trying to get to. Yeah. Still walking. We're making the loop. And we stop. Still walking. Ha. These guys over here have no idea how long the line is. Yes, I made it. Jeremy and Ryan are all the way over there. Well, I found the next board game I'm going to play. Is there a doctor in the house? They have these really cool recreations of uh, famous movie cars. They have Bumblebee right here from the Transformers movie. And then there's this Decepticon here, and I can't remember the Decepticon's name. I feel like it starts with a D, and I can't remember it right now. But he was from the first Transformers. I'm checking out all these really cool cars here, but I come over here and... Wait, wait, Sam and Dean Winchester? Hey, hey. What are you guys doing wait. here? I, I mean, I'm vlogging. Oh, okay. I don't know what's vlogging. Wait, you're vlogging. Vlog Dean, it's this thing where, you know, you go online and post the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like it's like for YouTube, but no porn. What's the point? I mean, I ask myself that all the time. But uh, but yo, you brought your car. Yeah, let me, let me yeah. check out your car here, man. So wait, ah! whoa, 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 whoa! Nice. <laughs> you need the pokeballs? I just met up with Darth Vader. Hey, I listen. I didn't fail you a first time, so there's no way I can fail you again. I'm, like again, I'm like I I've, I've just started yesterday. I haven't failed you a first time. But wait, hold on, hold on. Is that thing plugged up to your breathing box? Is that is that how you power your iPod? Man, the Empire thinks of everything. All right, I'm on board. I won't fail you again. Thank thanks, Vader. Appreciate it. There's lone Ryan standing up there posing. Work it, girl. Somebody broke that T-Rex. All cosplayers are starting to congregate outside. This place will be full of Oh, oh, oh man, thank God you're safe. I, listen, I read the news. I was so scared. It's fine. I was hiding. It's hiding? Oh, just, I'm just, I'm just so happy you're here and continue keeping on, keeping on. Alright. Alright, thank you. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at? I am not bad. Pikachu. Guys, I caught a I caught a Pikachu. Uh, are you having a good MomoCon, Pikachu? Excellent. What so what what has been your favorite part so far? I agree. That that was the best. Well, Pikachu, thank you for for talking to my vlog here. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your MomoCon. Excellent. All right, so earlier today, Ryan signed us up for VR. I did. So we're on our way to go play, what is it, like a survival horror game? Yeah, we, we, VR. we were told it's a horror game. That's all we know. So uh, I may not survive. I think it's 10 minutes. We're each going to get a shot at it, and uh, we'll see who lives. I like the way how you really exaggerated the fact that you might not survive. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. I mean, this was free, so I mean... There's gotta be the, a cost somewhere. Price, yeah, the price must be your life. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't. It's a heck of a dollar sign. <laughs> I mean, it's VR. State of the state of the future. Hmm. Ryan's getting pretty antsy. He wants to play some virtual reality. The fine folks at Five over here are setting Ryan up so he can uh, do his VR session. It's currently. Way 
what Ryan can see inside the VR. Yep, yeah. This is right there. It might like that. Jeremy's well, having his turn inside the VR unit. He's trying to turn everything off so a ghost does not capture him. So we're doing a Facebook Live on our on our Facebook page, but we're also watching Jeremy further in the background. I feel like we have this weird inception thing going yeah, on. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're going back and forth here. So this is being filmed live for a vlog later. Hey, look, there's our friends Austin and Justin. I don't know who they are, but hey, oh, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Hey. Let's shake it. Let's shake it. Uh, so, have you been in VR before? I've done PlayStation VR once. Okay, okay. So you should be kind of used to looking around. And stuff yeah, yeah, and yeah. I've yeah. played a couple games. All right. signing up for any one of these other booths, because uh -huh. this is the more indie side yeah. of VR games, right? Myself, Melissa, and about five other people on the green cards over there, we made this game for a game jam, okay. which is a contest where you and several teams have 48 hours to make a video game. Most of it was done in that jam, we won a couple of awards, we polished it further, and went on to show it off at SiegeCon. Nice. Yeah. And I think we're going to go play some Ultimate Werewolf, because it's almost too cold. Well, we're not playing because those guys are taking too long, so, yeah. meh, we'll come back later. Hey man, uh, do you play board games? Well, I kinda... Over here they have this huge table of a whole bunch of games that you can rent out to play. And hey, Taylor's in the vlog now. Hi. Taylor got here. Um, but we decided to check out this The Networks game. And we're gonna play this, and I guess you can turn in, whoever wins this game can turn in their name, and at the end of the weekend there's a drawing to get some kind of free game. Or actually I think it might be this game, isn't it? I think, yeah, you, can game, I think you can choose from whatever game you want that they have left. Oh, okay. You win. That's fair. Yeah. This game. Somebody just lost a Jenga. We've been attempting to learn how to play this game for about 20 minutes now. 30 minutes? 20 minutes. 25. So I'm good. will be on at 8 p.m. Uh, I will pay two million for that. Shows that but it makes me three million. So I'm gonna eat them. So I, I was walking around and I ran into Lydia Dietz and I, I you, your parents have a very nice house. Uh, I, I understand that you found some really interesting stuff in the attic. I did. Um, a book? A book, right. It's a, uh, about the undead or the, the recently departed and uh, I feel like something will happen if you say a certain name three times. Do you yes. know what the name is? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice! Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god! The Beetlejuice, I can't believe you're here! What's... Uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, alright, I gotta get out of here. Okay, bye. bye. Bye, thanks Lydia. Thanks Beetlejuice. Bye, see you in the world. Bye. Alright guys, we can't 
video while we're doing this, but we're about to play some laser tag, and we are the Rambo team. We're the, wait, what is it from Red Dawn Wolverines? Wolverines. Wolverines. I'm playing laser tag with my friends, and I hope we don't lose this game. Whew. All right, I'm winded. Are you guys winded? That yeah. sucked. I, that's the most exercise I've had in about, how many years? Five, ten, twenty, twenty, two, uh, thirty, we were walking thirty-four. Briskly. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, no, no, we, I'm fairly certain we totally lost that game of laser but tag. But we're podcasters, right? Like that was right. That's not our main objective. Like that's well, it was our main objective in the game, but it's not like it's not something we do. I'd like to point out that the other team won, and they did not say that Spider-Man Three was the best movie. So I'm not saying you jinxed us, but Griffin. Mind if I do? I already did. So I'm here with Cloud. So I've got one question, or two part question. Shoot. What is your favorite Final Fantasy and why is it Final Fantasy IX? Nine. Nine. Wait. Nine. Well, yeah. Seven. Seven. But nine's more than seven. But seven is better than nine. Before our last day at MomoCon, we decided to stop off and grab some brunch at this place called Bankman's. And yes, it is named after exactly who you think it's named after. When you walk in, their little service station here is an old radio. That's pretty awesome. They're playing Force Awakens in the background. Breakfast food and Star Wars? I mean, this place was kind of made just for me. But you can't watch this television until you finish eating your food. I ended up getting the champagne breakfast with, with bacon, potatoes, and scrambled eggs. Jeremy got the same thing, but he got sausage instead. And Kayla got sausage with the fried eggs. And Taylor ended up getting food. What did you get, Taylor? Poutine? Breakfast poutine. And Ryan also got the breakfast poutine. That's right, baby. I don't think you could ever have a bad meal in a restaurant that is named after one of the Ghostbusters. Who in the world is Gude Tama? And why is he being stabbed by chopsticks? I feel like that's a very rude thing to do. Wonder Woman's invisible jet. Oh man, it looks so awesome. Alright guys, I'm about to sit in this Decepticon. That sounds weird, but this has kind of been a dream of mine for about, let's see, 30 years? So we're gonna do it. Uh, oh my god, Mustang emblem. And that's how you know you're riding a Decepticon, my friends. That's how you know. So I'm currently inside the Bumblebee car. It's got the really awesome Autobot insignia. And it even comes complete with the air freshener and disco ball. Now it's time to ride in this guy right here. Here I go. This is an incredibly detailed DeLorean. It's got a whole bunch of the props. It's got the correct dates. It's got the newspaper and George McFly's book. And behind me, I've got the flux capacitor right here. So if I wanted to, I could just take this guy up to 88 miles an hour and go to 1955. I don't, I don't want to do that just yet, but I can. I was walking around and I stumbled upon an Ecto-1 recreation. It's not the original Ecto-1, it looks more like the Ecto-1 from the, the reboot film that had all the female cast. Uh, in unpopular opinion, I really enjoyed the, the Ghostbusters reboot with Kate McKinnon and Kristen Wiig and company. I thought it was very good. 
you don't have to agree. It's fine. I don't care if you don't agree because I thought it was funny. These stormtroopers are about to play laser tag. I, I don't think the odds are in their favor. Well, Jeremy and I are, are done with uh, with MomoCon this weekend. Uh, I'll, I'll edit everything, put it up on YouTube. I'll also put up a link for the the podcast blog as well. So I'm, I'm like double vlogging this weekend. So, but all in all, MomoCon was great. I really enjoyed it. I'll come back for sure. Um, yeah. So I guess that'll do it. That dog is driving a car. Hey guys, how's it going? <clears throat> Excuse me. It is Monday morning, the morning after MomoCon, and I am still exhausted. Uh, Jeremy, Ryan, Griffin, Taylor, and myself uh, went all over the place all weekend. Very busy. I'll end up making two vlogs. I'll end up making one for my channel, and then I'll, I told the guys I would do a special vlog for our podcast YouTube channel. Uh, once again, our podcast is called... The It's All In My Head podcast. I'll put a link down below. We're on iTunes. Uh, it's the only podcast that pops up. Whenever you search, It's All In My Head. Um, but all in all, MomoCon was really fun. This was, this was my first time at the con at its new location of the Georgia World Congress Center in downtown Atlanta. And I thought it was awesome. It was absolutely great. I've been to a MomoCon or two a couple of years prior when it was in a different location uh, and it also just kind of blows my mind how big MomoCon has begun or not begun I'm sorry become um, I'm still drinking my coffee I think you can forgive me um, it used to it started out as a, as a very small anime and gaming convention and admittedly I'm not a very big hey Stella's back and she comes anytime she hears me talking, so, uh, granted I'm not a big anime person, um, I do love video gaming, obviously, and board gaming as well, but it's, it's really turned into this big celebration of fandom, and I think that's what I really love about MomoCon. Um, I just like that everyone else is super into what they like. Because I, I have things I'm into. I'm a big Star Wars guy. Um, I'm a big Doctor Who guy. Um, among other things. Big horror fan. So uh, it, it makes me happy whenever I can see other people enjoying the thing that they do. Uh, but I did, I did pick up a few things at MomoCon. And I wanted to show you. Uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm a sucker for a... A good pop vinyl and there was a vendor there selling some pretty cool ones that I haven't seen in a while so I ended up picking up the Lemmy Kilmister. Lemmy was the bassist and lead singer for Motorhead unfortunately passed away a couple years ago uh, so I saw this I couldn't I couldn't say no so uh, I picked that one up and there was a, a I got this one for five dollars so funny story I saw this for five dollars and I'm like I think you have to get this so, I saw a Hulk Hogan with a Hulkamania shirt on. It's like $5 for a Hulk Hogan pop. Normally, I don't open these because I really enjoy the box art. It has really nothing to do with collectability. I think the, the artwork on the box and how it's displayed looks really nice. But uh, it was 5 bucks, So, I figured I could just open this one up and get some stupid jokes for the vlog. And, and that'll be that. I come home and I find out, turns out that this pop is kind of hard to find now and going for 
five times what I paid. Again, not that I'm in it for the money, but uh, yeah, so I thought I thought that was pretty interesting. And I almost didn't get this one. I decided to pull the trigger because of one small detail. Again, I'm a big horror guy, so I found this Reagan from The Exorcist. And I'll show you the back here, and it's got the movie poster and a picture of the pop on the back. But what made me kind of pull the trigger on this one was if you look really closely, this nice little detailing on the window of the uh, pea soup vomit from the film. I thought that was a nice touch that you don't see on a lot of pops. So I was like, okay, all right, I'm in. I'm on board. And the guy gave me a deal for buying all three of them. So that was really nice of him. So, um, but yeah, all in all, Momocon was great. I'm still waking up. So you guys, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon.